Are Shein press-on nails worth it even if they are super affordable? Do they look expensive? Let's find out in my very first Shein press-on try-on video. Hey guys, it's Shrey the DIY Ninja. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out for the very first time Shein Press On Nails. This is what the standard box usually looks like. If I zoom in a little bit, you'll see these are kind of like blue butterfly nails, I believe, which are super trendy at the moment and have been for a while. Let's just take a quick look around the box. On the, on the back, they give you a quick um, they give you directions on how to use the product and it looks like it comes with sticky tabs and they also say they tell you how to remove the product and what not to do so you don't ruin your nails which is pretty good all right let's take a look at what comes in the box you get of course the nails themselves and these look like blue stilettos with some clear butterfly um, sequins on there you can see it'll be easier to see once they come out of the package but I do like the shape of long coffins so I chose that and in here I see you get <laughs> of course you get a sheet of sticky tabs this might be a little harder to see let me just grab one of my son's toys as a background there you go, you can see there are sticky tabs that come in various shapes and sizes to fit your nail bed. Okay, and it also comes with a, there we go, a nail file. One side is blue, one side is pink. The pink side is the finer grit and the blue side is the rougher grit. Just from feel, it seems like one 100 180 grit file a little miniature one with a curved edge and I'm just going to use this with the one um, 180 100 I believe 100 is rougher I don't remember <laughs> anyways I'm gonna put the finer side towards my nail and I'm just going to push back all my cuticles Okay, now we push back our cuticles. I'm gonna take the rougher side and just gently rough up my nail a little bit. You know what, I might just use the pink side first. I'm just gonna slip very, very gently. Just rough up the nail bed. Not pushing very hard, just very, very gently. I'm also going to file down the free edge a little bit. And I'm going to do this again to all my nails. Just, you just want to get rid of the surface shine and create a little bit of a textured surface for the sticky tab to stay on and this nail I'm gonna zoom in so I can see a little bit better there we go so just roughen it up okay just wanted to make sure there was no white of the free edge showing because I'll probably be putting a clear nail on there After you do this on both hands, you can wash your hands or wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol to remove any excess oils and residual nail dust. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm just gonna do both hands really quickly. If you do have your own file, that will definitely be faster, but if you want to just use this as a whole kit, this will do. Okay, so I'm going to finish up this hand and then I'll be right back. Okay, next step is to size your nails. So I'm just going to pop these all out. And it looks like they... oh. They only have so many clear nails here. Oh, they look pretty big. Hmm. Then I guess I can file down the sides. And the butterflies don't feel very secure on here. Like, they're not flush. You're probably going to want to tuck with this yourself. As you can see, I can lift the wing like it will snag. But it is really pretty. It's just so big. Ooh, okay. Well, let's hope I find a size that works for me. Oh, this is just blue. So basically, when you size, you want to just make sure it fits sidewall to sidewall. And bigger is always better. This one. See? Looks like it fits me perfectly. Like the colored nails themselves, really good quality, surprisingly, too. Oh, look at that. It's thick. It's thicker at the end and thinner towards the cuticle, which is what you want. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so I'm just going to size up all my nails and then we'll be right back. I'm filing down some bigger ones to fit my nails because there were not enough sizes to fit a whole set. Which means... Yeah. No, babies cannot wear press-on nails. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Yeah, just file it down a little bit. <laughs> That's my son, don't mind him. He's just always with me if you're new to my channel. So we got that there. And then I wanted to mention that um, they only give you like two or three clear ones and one super large. And this is like also super large. It's the size of my thumb, which I'm going to have to fit to be the size of my middle finger. So that's going to take a while, so I'm just going to file this down until it fits, and then we'll come back for the next step. Okay. Okay, now it's time to put the sticky tabs on your nails, and it comes in a sheet. You can just rip half off to work on one hand at a time. I'm just going to try to feel which one is the smallest here. And it has a clear film on top. You're going to want to pull that back. And then you're going to lift up the sticky tab. There is a little tab on the end for you to hold on to. Just trying to see the shape here. Which I think should work. I'm going to push this up as close to my cuticle as possible and then press it down. I maybe did not put that as close as I should have, but you can play around with it before you pull the top cover off. Okay, then you just pull that off and you have one tab there. Go to sleep then, baby. I'm just gonna stretch it up a little bit. Okay, for my pinky nail on this side, all I'm gonna do is line it up. Okay. 
Just rub it off like this. It will come right off. Okay. Again, make sure that's straight. Then, once you have it placed exactly, press and hold for at least a minute. You know what? These sticky tabs, impressed. They are very strong. Especially for the price and the fact that the nails came with them. Very impressed. Alright, we have our first nail on. Just adjusting. I'm just gonna press down. I'm gonna press at the cuticle and round and round and just really. Push this guy in. Make sure he's on right. Okay. Pressing really as hard as I can. Well, that's dirty. I didn't even push down as much as I should have. I just want to make sure it's straight here. Okay. Like I said, if any sticky tab is sticking out, you can just rub it off. Then you have a very clean nail. No glue, no mess. Awesome. Can you see that? Okay, I'm going to repeat the steps on the rest of my nails.
All right, here is the final product. I didn't really uh, file this one down properly. It may look a little funny that way, but yeah, here we go. Overall, definitely worth the money. We'll see how long this lasts. Okay, so there you have it guys. Here is the finished look. Overall, my final thoughts are that this is totally worth the couple dollars. It does come with everything you need. So just, you know, if you do have your own nail supplies, you can definitely use that to make things a little easier and faster. But overall, I definitely do like the quality of these nails. The only like con is that the nail sizes are a little bit too big for my finger which means extra work for me but because the price point is so low still definitely worth it they have a whole bunch of different designs this was just the first one I picked out and I think just like they don't give you enough clear nails and different sizes but that's just being nitpicky for I mean for like two three dollars worth it anyways make sure to subscribe thumbs up this video leave a comment down below about what you think about these coffin nails and I'll see you next time bye